<laughs> no. <laughs> Hey, one of my first autographs. I gotta get better at the signature though. Let's see it. I said, Matt, are you gonna break out? We're gonna do Alan Iverson, we're gonna do Shaquille O'Neal. He said, no, Bradley D. She always made me feel like I could do anything. Um, I would be in elementary school, like, Mom, I'm gonna be an actor. She's like, yeah, you can do it. There was one night my dad was in there wasn't there for me. The way you guys support me, and I love this town so much, and I will rep it to the end of my life. What's up, y'all? We're headed back to Gate City for the first time in a long time. I'm with my boys, Danny Go, Kobe and Nate Dog. About to get, I'm about to get my jersey retired and a key to the city. Man, so excited. Let's get it. So we're almost back at Gate City. It's probably been a while since you've been back in your hometown. Really since everything kind of happened, the dunk contest, uh, the two-way, the amazing last game that you had, the G League championship. So what does this kind of mean to you to come back home and, and have your jersey retired? Man, I mean, as a young kid, I think like we all that play a sport, we, you know, it's such an honor to get your jersey retired. Like for some reason that was such a, a thing that I cared about as like a high school player like I wanted that to happen and um, for it to happen man the way it has is just like I don't know it's just incredible man I'm super happy I'm super excited like after everything that good happens I always want to come home and like see the people and kind of like live um, with it with them you know what I mean and kind of experience like what happened with you know the people I care about the most so it's like it's cool man it's like I can't really explain it there's nothing like home as people say but um, yeah, I'm happy to be home. What did what did Gate City growing up there? What did that kind of do for you? Like, you know, now that it's all coming full circle, like, what do, what do you think your advantages maybe were coming from Gate City, and and how did it help shape you? Yeah, I mean, I think just the differences. I mean, there's great things about all different places, big cities, small cities. I think it helped me prepare uh, like for big moments like this because it kind of teaches you humility and the sense of like. You know, no matter how much money you make or how much fame you have, like the key is just like relationships and how you treat people. And you know, being in the big cities, like you know, sometimes like you know, who has what car, and you know, everything's so fast, and it's all about status. And you know, you kind of have those humble beginnings where none of that stuff matters. And I can I kind of think that's something that you know I was really you know just happy about being from here, kind of having that angle to look at things. Is there anyone in particular that? you maybe haven't seen in a while that you're excited to come home and see and, and they had a big part of your journey that maybe since you've been in college or the NBA you haven't had a chance to spend that much time with that you're excited to see this weekend? Yeah, I mean, all my high school teammates are going to be, and my high school coach, um, you know, we're all such in contact. So it's like we're all in contact, but we're never around each other. So just being around them and my little brother, like seeing him at home and watching him, like every time I can watch him play his sport or go to a game and just chill and talk with him and to, like, to see how his mind works is like, you know, it's, it's priceless. So it's, I mean, it's so amazing being home. I can't like, I can't, I can't explain like how much I love coming home. Coop, the trainer player, Danny Cooper is here. <laughs> I'm excited to be here. And like I'm on my phone, like acting like someone's running. He's like, you're like, you know what you should do? Go ahead, you I was like, hey, you know what you should do? What's up? You, know, you see that new White Man Can't Jump movie that's coming out? Oh my gosh, I got, I can't do that. I'm trying to get away from the dunking. I can't do that right Okay, now. but like you see the similarities, like you see the parallels, right? I mean, I just don't think it's in the lane that I'm going for right now. I'm trying to focus on basketball right now. And All then right. it goes back to him. He's like, but are you, but like, for real, like, it would be a perfect ad for you to post, blah, blah, blah. And uh, cuts, back to him. cuts back to him. He says that it comes back to me. I have the white man can't jump, like, sure. shorts on or something. Just a little taste, right? Yeah. I'm like, ah. And it kind of, like, shows that I have the shorts on. I don't know if you zoom on it, but, like, maybe a little focus yeah. on it. And I'm like, ah. I just, it's just not where I'm at right now. Like, morning in Gate City. DP out here. What's up? What up? About to head to hot yoga, and then we got, uh, might get some Manny Petties, and then we got uh, the Jersey retirement tonight. No, I'm a little nervous because I'm an outsider <laughs> speaking at the event. I, know that, I don't know that you're going to really have to look as nice as what no. you're. 
I have to make a good first impression. First impressions are everything, that's for sure. And we have, who's this guy who's not from here? <laughs> yeah. You know? like, yeah, they so, have to be shunned right out the gate. Right? Exactly. Really, this, guy's, they <laughs> this guy's beard sucks. Let's get him out of here. I'm going to set this down. You won't be screwed up. This might be one of the nicest golf courses in America. Y'all yeah, like our nails, though. Let's see the let's see the sticker. Ooh, that one wee. definitely looks whack. <laughs> see, mom was fire until she put the sparkles on it. Like, why she had to put the sparkles on it? So we're doing a little scramble here. I guess it's uh, Mac and Ty, and then There's me and Bradley Dean. Bradley Dane, and I might be the weak link, but I know. I trust my teammates. I know my man Bradley Dean is going to hold it down for me and bring it home. Bradley Dean is nice. He is nice. But listen, he doesn't have heart like we have heart, okay? He's going to carry Watch, He's going to destroy his off. So I can tell. Uh, <laughs> 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 Fuck. <laughs> Took my head off of it. You want to go first, Ty? Yeah. It's been too long. I, I didn't get any practice swings, but it's all good. I don't think it's going to get better than that, folks, but... Might as well get a warm up in, you know what I mean? We're mobbing. Out here, beautiful Gate City golf course. I am the worst player by far. Update hole number three, I'm not doing too well. Bradley's carrying me. I think we're up by one stroke right now, so hopefully I can add some value to the team. I guess we'll see. Wow. All right. <laughs> Last hole. No shoes. Stay in it. Nice. <laughs> Practice swing. <laughs> Hold up, there's another T right in the way. <laughs> hey, we're having a golf course etiquette. Oh, yeah. oh. Told you. Hey, Room for improvement. It's all good. You gotta get the crow yeah, hop. Yeah, you gotta get <laughs> crow hop. Out for six months. Like this. Torn labor. I crow hop like you the first time. Oh! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit. I know this isn't. A proper swing, but I learned off of a movie, and it's just been my form ever since. So here we go. You are you are kind of like the villain in this movie. Really? You're not built. I knew, I, knew I hit it wrong. You're I not built. I hit it wrong. Brad's overthinking this putt. Brad's overthinking this putt. I know he is. Shooter lines it up for game. No! <laughs> <laughs> Let go! Hey, Todd! You're getting one. Else. You carried me, yes, sir. 
Good job. We had some great plays in there yeah, the other day. We yeah. really did. Game back, dog. Good game, boy. Just got done with a great day of golfing. Um, me and Ty beat Bradley by seven strokes, but he, he tried his best, and that's all really you can ask for. You want to take that cap against, off or what? When you compete against someone, as long as they try their best, it's fun to play, and he'll keep practicing. He'll keep getting better, right, Brad? Take your head off, bro. <laughs> Okay, DP with the number zero. I got that official stitch shit. So yeah, I got that real shirt. authentic. Can I get his jersey tied? Yeah. Excited? Yeah. What are you most excited for? Mm. What's your favorite part? I don't know. You proud of him? <laughs> if you could tell him one thing before tonight, what would you tell him? Do your best, Matt. It's it's pretty cool to be home. I haven't been home since like this year kind of started. So to get to come home, I was telling my friends it just uh, I don't know. You always want to come home after you you know things go well in your life. So just to be able to come back is super awesome and I'm super excited about tonight. Out here at Max Jersey retirement, pretty exciting stuff.
thank you guys for coming out tonight. I mean, you guys are electric with the, the clapping and the ovation. I really appreciate it. Um, and I want to say the best is yet to come, but I also want to give the flowers to all the people that help me stand right here in this moment right now. Uh, so first, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start out with just my team, uh, with Danny, Nate, um, everybody, Todd, with the, with the film. I appreciate you guys so much. Um, and then my agent, Dan, uh, I heard a quote once that said, don't eat with anyone that you wouldn't starve with. So I want to say thank you for starving with me and uh, the best is yet to come. Um, and then I want to go to a guy uh, named Coach Irvin, as you guys know. Coach Irvin saw me in the high school gym. I was there every night with my dad. And uh, Coach Irvin. Check, check, okay. <laughs> Coach, I love, I love, okay. Coach Irvin, he saw me. And I had a terrible jump shot. I, I really wasn't doing anything right. And he took me in um, and showed me how to shoot, helped me train with Zach. And uh, he really took me in like I was his own kid. Um, whether that be advice on life or relationships or just anything, he was like he was like a second problem. Thank you. 
at 6 a.m. or 7 p.m. or if you had to leave work, just work out. It wasn't one night my dad wasn't there, wasn't there for me. And uh, just the consistency he had in me, uh, I hope that I could be consistent with my future kids like he was for me. So my dad. Signature, so I'm gonna kind of wing this, but you shout want out my man. Can you say it? You want a silver sharpie? Nah, that's cool. Like, is that that might be the worst signature? Ever. Hey, hey, it's gotta be cursive. What I just wrote my name, I don't know. That's fine. Right, I'm gonna say, can you see it? I'll, I'll say it's a cool. You yeah. can't really see it. Okay, then either do it in this silver or do it up top where you can see it. Do you have another one? Let's yeah. do another one. All right, take two. Listen. Take two. Do you know how many times he's called in that? 857,000. Right. Do an autograph. Not a All right, I'm going to do an autograph. Take two. Take two. Just for okay. fun. Uh, right here? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't even know if I remember how to write person. Two Colton. Uh, okay. Hey, one of my first autographs. I gotta get better at the signature though. Let's see it. What do you think after the ceremony? How did it go? Um, pretty good. <laughs> Anything you want to say to Big Bro? Good job for introducing everyone. <laughs> what? So this boy Nate told me to give me my keys so that he could go get the basketball. This man down here doing the mic and drill. Missing layups and everything. All right, I'm done, Hey, wait a minute. Thanks for sticking around. Jeez. Yeah, of course. This is awesome. Coach, what's up, baby? Good to see you. These are all my friends, my agent, and Pat Riggins. How you doing, Charlie? How you doing, Danny? It's pretty awesome what they did last night. Oh, so cool. Stand up there and get a picture with him. Go in and do his thing. Okay, can I get you to uh, just do a sound check real quick? Check, check. Oh, on to oh. Just slam it there. Grab the rim. But hold on to it. You got plenty of time. Yeah. All right. You don't need to rush. Hold on. I'll tell you when to let it go. Okay. One, two, three. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. No, no. Oh. Yeah. Hold it. 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 On the ball. Put my shoes on. You don't have on. to go that fast, really. Like, jumping. people think you have to run so hard. No. Like, you can just make sure your last three steps are powerful. Oh, so right there. Okay. And you're going to put it in. And after you finish, make sure you check out the Mac McClung jump program. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm recording. Ready? Oh, how about that? Bad? I'm going to get this. 
Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Stay, hey, take one more step back. Uh, and just kind of like walk into it and then take that same approach. Oh. Oh. I'm getting tired now. Oh! oh. <laughs> Right at the certain time where all you have to do is just tip it in. Tip it in. Okay, let's go. Oh, oh, man. Man. Fuck. Got the sneaker switch. Let's watch the slow mo so Dan can see where he's at. And it'll give him some motivation. This is such good footage. It's like, why is it so clear? Take off close to the rim. Straight up. <laughs> Mac, Mac wants it so bad for him. Alright. Like, watch this. So. As you're rolling up, take that last big step. All you care about is how high you get. Can we get some music on? See that? That's the power tape. That's the power tape. Hold on, hold on. Turn me up, DP. Y'all feel this shit? Y'all feel this shit? Hey vlog, we're gonna end with that. Hope you guys enjoyed a little Gate City recap. Subscribe, follow, like the video. Appreciate y'all. Till next time.